Tonight, an ABC 15 exclusive surrounding a late night traffic stop where in a matter of seconds, a young man is shot in the face. A 24 year old survived, but now more than two years later, he's preparing to stand trial for aggravated assault. And our Zach Crenshaw has the story you'll only see here, but we want to warn you some of what's in this story is graphic. March 27th, 2019 just before 11 p.m. in suburban Peoria. I would call it a routine traffic stop. No taillights was the reason, but the roughly eight-second interaction would be anything but routine. Hey, let's go. We're in. Sergeant Miller of the Peoria Police Department, do not reach for that firearm. Put your hands on the steering wheel right now. Yeah. Put your hands on the steering wheel! God 24-year-old Samuel Dank was shot in the face. The bullet entered his, left, his upper left cheek tore out his um, upper palate, exited his cheek into his shoulder. Peoria Police Sergeant Matt Miller was behind the gun. Hold on, buddy. The fire department's coming. Dank was rushed to the hospital for surgery. Then five days later, arrested for aggravated assault at his parents' house. We have to take you to jail today, okay, bud? What? Yeah. Even after being shot, Dank was still friendly with the officers. Since you're being cool with us, I, I'm pretty sure that they'll handcuff you to the front. Now, days after his mugshot, the Maricopa County Attorney's Office, still under Bill Montgomery, got a grand jury to indict Dank, writing that Dank intentionally did place Sergeant Miller in reasonable apprehension of imminent physical injury. Sergeant Miller said Dank also had a meth pipe next to the pistol and told detectives, quote, Dank's hands grabbed for the gun. I didn't see that in the video with my eyes. It looks like his hands are being raised to put them on the steering wheel as ordered, um, not that he's reaching for his gun. The body camera angle doesn't show right one of Dank's hands until the split second before he's shot, when both are up without a gun. In the video, you see Stan moving his hands towards the steering wheel at the same time he gets shot. Jaquise Blackwell is Dank's lawyer. He's civilly suing Peoria, right alleging Dank wasn't a threat and that Sergeant Miller accidentally pulled the trigger. I don't believe the officer meant to shoot Sam when he did so, based on his reaction to the firing. God. Peoria Police Sergeant Brandon Sheffer. The shooting was definitely not accidental. It was intentional, and Sergeant Miller's been cleared. ACLU attorney Jared Keenan. A bit more shocking is that they're pursuing aggravated assault charges against this guy. If you're going to clear an officer, again, under this this evidence, this body cam, um, there seems to me to be not enough evidence to then go after this guy for aggravated assault. He doesn't have to be charged um, just because they didn't charge the police officer. Um, it, can, it could be a terrible accident. A jury will now decide what exactly these eight seconds are. An accident? Aggravated assault? One thing's for certain. The traffic stop has already been life-altering. The question is... How many more years of Samuel Dank's life will it define? If he goes to prison, I think it's a sad day. I don't believe justice will be served. Dank's trial currently set for the end of June. Meanwhile, MCAO now on its third prosecutor in this case. It was being handled by April Sponsel, but she's still on paid leave after ABC 15 exposed her role in bringing gang charges against protesters. Zach Crenshaw, ABC 15, Arizona.